Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's lecture, we will see the OSI security architecture. As usual, we will start the session with the outcomes. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to Outcome number one, we will know the difference between threat and attack. Outcome number two, we will understand the OSI security architecture. And outcome number three, we will know about security attacks, security services and security mechanisms. Before we step into what is threat and attack, let's see an analogy. Just contemplate, you want to protect your home and your belongings in your home from unauthorized access. Obviously, you will prefer a strong lock. And if you prefer a lock that is made of plastic, of course it can protect to some extent and not to the extent of security that can be offered by a metal lock. I hope you can understand this. Say you are preferring a plastic lock instead of a metal lock. You know what will be the impact of a plastic lock in place of a metal lock. But still plastic locks can offer some degree of security. Maybe kids can't break it easily. So you understood that there is a threat with the plastic lock because it can be easily broken. So you have decided to replace it with the metal lock. And you know metal lock it will be hard to break when compared to the plastic lock. And after replacing the plastic lock with the metal lock, do you think there is no security vulnerability or security issues? Let's assume somehow you secured your home with a metal lock. But still your home is vulnerable to threats. You know why? Attackers may attack the metal lock also and if you feel that metal lock is fully protected and nobody can break the metal lock but still there are vulnerabilities. I'll tell you where. Just assume you have a poor quality window and so trespassers can enter home through your window and they may not prefer the regular way by breaking the metal lock. Let's also assume your home is having a poor roofing system. So that attackers can enter your home and take your belongings through your poor roofing system by breaking your roofing system. So your home is vulnerable to attack still. If you have a poor quality window, then obviously still your home is not safe. Your home is still vulnerable to threats. If someone is successful in breaking your security system and enter your home and steal your belongings, this is what we call as attack. In this example, there always exists a potential for violation of security in the form of poor roofing system or poor quality window. And if there is a potential violation of security in your home, then it is a threat. So I hope you can understand this. Say if you have a potential violation of security in your home, then it is a threat to your home. And if someone enters your home and steals your belongings, it is an attack. The intention of this lecture is knowing about threats and attacks. Let's dive into the definition of threats and attacks. What is a threat? It is a potential for violation of security which exists when there is a circumstance, capability, action or event that could breach security and cause harm. That is, a threat is a possible danger that might exploit a vulnerability. Just understand, you might have protected your home with a secure system or a locking system, but still your home is vulnerable to threats. You know why? Because there exists a poor quality window and attacks can happen based on the poor quality window. So obviously, there is a possible danger that might exploit a vulnerability. And where is that vulnerability? It is in the form of poor quality window. So before attack can happen, there should be a threat and this threat is a possible danger that might exploit a vulnerability. So this is about a threat. Now let's see what is an attack. An attack is an assault on system security that derives from an intelligent threat. That is an intelligent act that is a deliberate attempt, especially in the sense of a method or technique to evade security services and violate the security policy of a system. Say if someone has entered your home and stolen your belongings, it is an attack actually. You are affected because of that. The attack will be a deliberate one and that's why the statement is mentioned as it is a deliberate attempt. And how this attempt is made? It is made in the form of a method or a technique and normally attack will be an intelligent threat because attackers are intelligent guys. I am not praising the attackers but please make a note of it because they are able to find out some flaws in the security system and they are making use of that vulnerability and gaining access. So obviously attackers are knowledgeable guys. So we should not underestimate attackers. 
Whenever you create any secure system, always think in the perspective of attackers and think is there any possibility for the attackers to get into your system and take away your data or your belongings. I hope now you are clear with what is a threat and what is an attack. Let's now dive into the topic of the day, the OSI security architecture. The OSI security architecture deals with three things. Number one, the security attack. Number two, the security mechanism. And number three, the security services. So we will talk about this one by one elaborately in the coming lectures, but I will give you an introduction of all the topics now. Say someone has stolen your information, it is an attack. Someone is sniffing your conversation, it is an attack. Someone is able to gain access to your secure system, it is an attack. Say someone defacing a server from functioning properly, it is an attack. So firstly, we will focus on the security attack. This attack means it is the action that compromises the security. So whenever any action is carried out and because of that your security system is compromised, then it is called as an attack. Then what is security mechanism? It is to detect, prevent or recover from a security attack. The security mechanism must be proactive as well as reactive. Suppose if there is an attack that has happened, so the security mechanism should come into action and recover the system to its original state. The security system not only react to the attack but should also prevent attack before it happens. And not only this, it should also detect any attack if it has happened. So this is about the security mechanism and coming to the last one, the security services. So security services enhances the security, counter security attacks and provide the service. See there are various services that we are expecting from a security system. Don't worry about this, we are going to talk about that elaborately in the coming lectures. But in this lecture, I will be providing a basic understanding about attacks, mechanisms and services. Basically, the attacks are of two types. Number one is the passive attack and number two is the active attack. We will see about the attacks in the next lecture with examples. Before we conclude, let's also see what about security mechanisms and services. Coming to security services, there are a lot of security services that we are expecting from a secure system. The authentication service, the access control, the data confidentiality, the data integrity and non-repudiation. I can very well understand these terms are new to you. Don't worry about these terms or any new terms you hear in this lecture. We are going to see all the terminologies in this lecture series. So that's it about the security services and coming to the security mechanisms. We have a lot of mechanisms to detect, prevent or recover from a security attack. The mechanisms include Enciphermant, Digital Signatures, Access Control, Data Integrity, Authentication Exchange, Traffic Padding, Routing Control and Notarization. We are done with the three components of the OSI security architecture, the security attacks, the security mechanisms and the security services. We have just seen what are the three components. In the coming lectures anyway, we are going to deal about this elaborately. And that's it guys. I hope now you understood the difference between threat and attack. You understood the OSA security architecture and we also have come to know about the security attacks, security services and security mechanisms. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lecture and thank you for watching.